Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. So, what kind of mischief you looking to get up to tonight? This delivery isn't due for inspection. Huh? These ones addressed to Don Corneo? Yes, it goes with this. Hmm. Relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Oh, that's what I need. Oh, to enter or not to enter. That is the question! Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? <laughs> I knew it! Let me guess. After you've had your fun, you fall into a spiral of shame and self-loathing. But it only lasts a moment, doesn't it? Next thing you know, you're right back here again. Huh? Got a question for me? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Tifa's here? Why? Tell me why! Oh god, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She came looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you! Tifa, I'm coming, baby! Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. About that real narrow street just over there? You're not still wasting your gill at the Honeybee Inn, are you? <laughs> you bet I am. Found me a secret route in, one nobody don't know about. Only trouble is it's filled with drunks and garbage. Oh. You sure about this man? Corneo's got a use and a beauty. That guy over there, he, uh, he doing all right, you think? He's fine, just drunk. Like the rest of them. Am I right? And I can't stand it.
that comes with the summoning materia ice cream. You have Alexander, don't yeah. you? You have to give it to Cornel has an understood. <laughs> Only a select few even know about this. Even if you love the artist, you don't need more than one copy. But I really need the money. How else am I supposed to get a ticket for a premier seat at the Hockey I'll do anything to see if Andrea perform, even if it kills me. I told you, you're not allowed to see me at work. But there's something I want to do. Hold it. Best to steer clear of this alley. You may not like the people you find down here, and they may not like you. Can you give any thought to what you want to do next? I want to open my own place, but the competition is pretty fierce. There's no way you'd survive out there, huh? Yeah, man. They call themselves. I think this is where they said to me. Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute, it's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is, hmm? Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But, to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope.
Welcome to Walmart's premier weapon shop. Do come again. You what are you thinking? Yes, you. Do you have a place to stay this enchanted evening? We have the perfect room for a sweet-looking couple like you. No thanks. But you thought about it, didn't you? <laughs> Just give me a holler when you change your mind. Welcome. Are you in need of accommodation? You know, I've heard from more than a few people that my son Johnny has been roaming the streets of Walmart. Before he leaves town, I need to make sure I deliver him his lucky pillow. I have faith in my boy, of course. But a growing man needs plenty of sleep. Sleep of good quality, no less. That's how mind and body stay healthy and active. In other words, this pillow is crucial to his health. <laughs> Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here is out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? We never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. 
head or tail? Guess right, and I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Tails. Ed, you lose. <clears throat> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. It's not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Let me handle this. Curse you wait out here, will, okay? But then why would I do I that? Oh. No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes, well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. This is the first time in my life sitting in the premiere. Set. I know why you're here. To talk at the honey. Bowl.
both a doctor and a mortician on standby. What? Look, That's not true. the doors are about to open. As this. I know why you're here. To gawk at the honey girls, right? As if you're not here to gawk. <laughs> Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm-hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love it. Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well? Hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation. And get that blood flowing. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> Uh. 
If that was to your liking, do come again. Right. <sighs> How was it? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? Alright then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But you cannot go dressed like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So... What do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay? See the sign out front? All I got is materia. Thanks, buddy. Everybody knows I've got the best Coliseum souvenirs around, and when I'm open for business, you can buy some! What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. Alright. Team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. Found 
down, down we go. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. Wait here until it's time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! This is their first tournament, the bad first day, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! One of Walmart gets own, a renowned master of beasts! Will his death make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers! Their hunger 
the flex and fear is unquenchable. The demon talks of hell. The Sanguine in this brutal contest between man and beast. This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semi-finals! Fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Couple! We're like our lucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric! Couple my ears! What the hell you two try to fall? You assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah, yeah! Their opponents, breathers of the strap yard, thieves and killers through and through! Two criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check their pockets, because they may have already robbed you blind! The most contemptible son of bitches this town of Walmart market, Vex Benefits! It's those guys! It's those guys! Against this. this could be a real bloodbath. 
So I implore you, ladies and gentlemen, don't look away, or you may miss the best part. The second match of the Corneo Cup semifinals begins oh, now! Oh, 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 I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So is half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, Maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <clears throat> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Make your way to the gate. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. 
the champions of Madame M, Cloud and Eric! Yeah! Come on now! Come on! You can do better than that! And now, five time winners of the Corneo Cup! Murder machines with countless kills to their name, along with a handful of maimings. The deadly duo that takes up the trash with a mob of vengeance. The electric executioners, Chocobo Sam's champions, Cuddy and Sleepy. Come on now. Robots? More like Shinra armor. More like cheating. <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history! The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now! Taken this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course, even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now. I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madam M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that?! Ah! You greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit-festering asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so.
Go on now. That prize money is going to pay for your dress. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one Don Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order! Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Klaus and Eric! Long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Cuneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! Thank <laughs> you. 
No. Not yet.
It's your turn. Take it over. I'll take care of you. Go on! But this is painful to watch. Stay back.
Keep it together. I'll take care of them. One more shot! Talk about this! This one's tagging out! Why didn't you tell me you guys were gonna kick so much ass? Can I get your autographs? There you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic. But there's always action if you want to get a piece. Congratulations on the win! You know, tonight's tournament is going down in history. Watching you win was so inspiring! It made me want to fight too! Aerith, you were amazing! There's never been a female champion before! Make way for the champion! Like I told you, no soldiers are showing up tonight. 